I want to uh, give you a bit of encouragement uh, and uh, from a different point of view. You guys, alhamdulillah, you're in college now or in high school now and you have your entire careers ahead of you, your family lives ahead of you and you, know, you have a lot of major decisions around the corner in your life. And what I'd like you to think about for yourself, and you're just only doing this for yourself, is I want you to think about what legacy you'll leave behind in the world. When you're about to get married, I, I know she's pretty and you're crazy about her and all of that, but beyond that, is she going to be a good mother? Is she the kind of girl that you would want raising your children? And will those be the kinds of children that long after you're gone, they will be committing to the prayer, they will understand the truth of Islam, and they will be torchbearers for justice and truth in that society no matter what's going on. Will they be those kinds of children? You know? That's, the, I mean, the, a decision like marriage, a decision like what kind of career you're going to go into, you have to recalibrate your thoughts. And you have to really think at a higher plane that you're going to be leaving a mark. And you, sincerely, you ask Allah, what is it that, you know, you, that, Allah, you know, that you ask Allah, how can you be of service to His deen? How can you be a force of good, a, cha a, a, a mark of good in the world? And inshallah ta'ala, Allah will open a door for you. Whether it's in the field of medicine and engineering, it doesn't matter. Those are not a religious fields. You can be the, yeah, and if you're going to go into a field, be the best at it. That's what Islam asks of you. If you're going to be a programmer, don't be a scrub programmer with dirty, pro, you know, dirty code. Be the best there is at it. If you're going to go into medicine, be the top of your class.